Last night at 11 o'clock, the White House announced that uh, U.S. forces will withdraw from Syria, and then Turkey will take up the operation against ISIS. Over the last uh, 20 minutes or so, the president has tweeted out five things regarding this, and here's the third one. Uh, they have been fighting Turkey for decades. I held off this fight for almost three years, but it is time for us to get out of these ridiculous, endless wars, many of them tribal, and bring our soldiers home. We will fight where it is to our benefit and only fight to win. Turkey, Europe, Syria, Iran, Iraq, Russia, and the Kurds will now have to figure the situation out and what they want to do with the captured ISIS fighters in their neighborhood. They all hate ISIS, have been enemies for years. We are 7,000 miles away and will crush ISIS again if they come anywhere near us. So let's bring in Lindsey Graham with his reaction to this, who's been to the region countless times uh, and was uh, kind of stunned and blindsided when this news came out. Is that a wise move? Is this a policy you can support? Oh, absolutely not. If, uh, uh, if I didn't see Donald Trump's name on the tweet, I thought it was, uh, would be Obama's rationale for getting out of Iraq. So here's what's going to happen. This is uh, going to lead to ISIS reemergence. Uh, nothing better for ISIS than to create a conflict between the Kurds and Turkey. The Kurds will now align with Assad because they have nobody to count on because we abandoned them. So this is a big win for Iran and Assad, a big win for ISIS. I will do everything I can to uh, sanction Turkey if they step one foot in northeastern Syria. Uh, that will sever my relationship with Turkey. I think most of con uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Congress feels that way. I will do a resolution for right. the president to reconsider this decision. The president's right about the ISIS fighters. Europe needs to do more. But, uh, you know, he's the president of the United States, and it requires leadership uh, when President Trump uh, excuse me, Obama was told what would happen in Iraq, it did, and I'm here to say that this is going to lead to the reemergence of ISIS, and the biggest winner of all this will be the Iranians, and that's too bad. Well, Senator, yeah, the president in that series of tweets, he made it very clear, you know, he ran on ending the endless wars. And so nobody should be surprised that he's talking about doing this. And now he's talking about Turkey taking over for us. I think there are a lot of people in the country who are going, you know, well, we've been in that long enough. Kind of, we get the ISIS threat, but if they're going to take over, let them. Well, here's what I would uh, I would hope people in the country want allies in the war. So when somebody steps up and helps America with ISIS, which is a threat to mankind, and we've had people killed in America because of ISIS inspiration, so the Kurds stepped up when nobody else would to fight ISIS. If we abandon them, good luck getting anybody to help America in the future with radical Islam, al-Qaeda, and ISIS. Uh, if you believe that Iran is a threat to the region, they're the biggest winner of this. And you may be tired of fighting radical Islam, but they're not tired of fighting you. I heard this same argument from President Obama, and all I can say is the campaign is over. I expect the American president. Right to do what's in our national security interest. Mm -hmm. and it's never in our national security interest to abandon an ally who's helped us fight ISIS. It's never in our national security interest to create the conditions for the reemergence of ISIS. To all those fighters, American soldiers who've died in the fight against ISIS, I feel terrible for you right. because they're going to come back. And uh, you just uh, you just dismembered Syria even further. So other than that, this is a good decision. Right. Uh, by the way, would we have defeated ISIS without the Kurds? Oh, the ISIS is not defeated, my friend. The biggest lie being told by the administration that ISIS is defeated. The caliphate destroyed, but there are thousands of Does fighters have... over there. And no, the caliphate would not have been destroyed without the Kurds. And I applaud the president for getting the Kurds and the Arabs to do most of the fighting. The casualties destroyed right. the caliphate was very low. We've got less than 1,000 troops now in Syria. Right. But this impulsive decision by the president has undone all the gains we've made, thrown the region into further chaos. Iran is licking their chops. And if I'm an ISIS fighter, I've got a second lease on life. So to those who think ISIS has been defeated, you will soon see. And to Turkey, okay. you've destroyed the relationship, what little you had with the U.S. Congress. And I will do everything I can to sanction Turkey's military and their economy if they step one foot into Syria. But they are. Well, I hope I'm making myself clear how short-sighted and irresponsible this decision is, in my view. 
Senator, what about listening to the experts, the generals that are helping our president? Because I know that uh, General Joe Dunford just stepped down a week ago, and the, the new U.S. military top officer is General Mark Milley. Do you yeah. think that he was recommending this? I Do would be shocked. That? I woke up this morning. You know, this whole thing with the whistleblower is a political setup. I like President Trump. I've tried to help him. This, to me, is just unnerving to its core. To say to the American people ISIS has been destroyed in Syria is not true. Senator, Senator, there are a lot of uh, military families mm -hmm. who would like to see our personnel come home. Uh, I take issue with that. I know they do. I think a lot of military people are sad today that we've given back the battlefield to the enemy. I know what they thought about leaving Iraq. I've seen the tears in their eyes when they die, people die in Iraq to have Obama give it back to the to, to ISIS types. So uh, I will say this, uh, Steve, that most American military people understand they want to keep the fight over there so it doesn't come back here. We set the conditions for the okay. reemergence of ISIS and all those right. who have fallen in battle to keep this threat away, to work with the Kurds. Can you imagine how you feel today if you fought alongside the Kurds as an American military member? you got to feel betrayed. Yeah, Right, Senator. And you got to and you got to tell him we're leaving and we're quitting early. Uh, yeah, Senator I hope Lindsay, he'll reconsider this. Uh, I hope so. He did once. Hopefully, he will again. Senator, Thank thanks you, so Senator. much. Thank you very much.